Pardon me, I done had too much. Pardon me. That's not what that man said. Okay, so I'm probably going to put my iPad screen somewhere right here up in this area. But we are about to do a quarterly review on ourselves. What a quarterly review is, it's going to be me going over the goals I have set for the year. I break them down into quarters, plans, or whatever it may be. And I'm going to see what did I do, what can I do better, and such and such and such. So we're going to hop right into it, and I'm going to just be brutally honest with myself. What did I pay the most attention to? I feel like, I would say social media. The gym, definitely the gym. My mental health, I definitely took care of my mental health a lot more. A cleaner diet, posting consistently, creating more than I consumed, and thinking, okay. I, I really thought I was gonna be disappointed, but it seems that I'm doing pretty decent. Okay, so this is what I'm expecting me to do. So let's be realistic about these milestones. Um. No, I was not focused. That's a flat out no. I was not. Um, I did a lot of more thinking than I did doing. And that's saddening, but no, I was not. The gym, I did really good in the gym, actually. As far as changes go, I enrolled in therapy. And I think I have a healthier outlet with my emotions. So I'm going to say that. Okay, so as for milestones, that's when it took me to refer back. It was like 50 TikTok videos is what I aimed for. I did not do 50. I would say I probably did 10. Did you follow the system you had set? If not, why? Honestly, my thing was I never set the time aside to set up a proper system. Oh, y'all, excuse me. A proper system or routine. And that's something I definitely should work on. So, I don't know, y'all got a little sick. <laughs> It says life happens and that's okay. Write down some adversity and how you overcame it. Oh my gosh, my car. Car broke down like twice at the beginning of the new year and I ended up paying five thousand out of out of pocket. Um I worked around it. What's another thing? Y'all, I was dated a bad dating experience. I had a bad I had a really bad dating experience, not like this past what's it called? And sad to say I still like the guy, but um it's just not gonna work. Um, I grieved the relationship. I thought I had, but you're a good one. Yeah, I really bad for the most part. Everything else I feel like is normal. Like, you know, you get sick, you have your bad days. Um, I did a lot of inward reflecting. Like, reflected inwardly within myself or whatnot. Um, so I said, what's the biggest lesson I've learned? That I am enough. I had a breakthrough and I'm always telling myself, you need to do more. That's not enough. Keep doing more. And I kept saying that. And like I would say, like, I feel like I'm not doing enough. And if I am saying I am not doing enough, essentially, it's like I'm not. I'm saying that I'm not enough. But I am enough. I, Me being who I am and being me, authentically me, and becoming the person that I'm supposed to be. God. And becoming the person that I'm supposed to become to get to where I'm trying to go. I have to continuously do that and that's what's going to make me enough so like how can i be inadequate when me as a being and when i am whole you know what I'm okay so progress place small things that you could do to continue making progress and working in the gym like i could be working in the in gym like i can go harder in the gym so and working out it's going to help me with my confidence as far as like making more money i think what i should do Commit to my time blocks. <laughs> oh, yo. I would say something else I can continue doing is going to work at coffee shops is going to help build my network. network. And so, boom. So, once I filled out those things that I can continue doing, it's, I'm going to also come into the long part and see, like, how is it helping me reach some of my goals that, like, my top 10 goals for the year. But really, I only did, like, eight because I don't feel like I need to do that many right now. So, I'm hitting 100K subscribers this year. I also want to get my credit back right um and just like a lot of other small things that i want to do that's going to build on top on top of another big goal that i have ultimately by the end of this year so i'm going to put all that under the on 
I'm putting all that under the category of productivity. I do not know where this stopped at, but my thing wasn't going or whatever. But long story short, like all those small boxes where it says like things that I can do to continue making progress, this is what I'm doing. So, you know, committing to designated time blocks, this is going to go in with my productivity. Things is going to help me get to a really big goal that I have set for myself by the end of the year. Um, and then also, that's going to also help with my money habits. So I should make this a little smaller actually if i stay in my budget i can give a lot more too so for the most part that is my quarterly review now what i would do is i'll go back in here and shade it and i will basically see how far i feel like i am with it or how much i feel that it would help so i'm like oh this is going to get me this is going to be like 50 percent of it or working out is going i feel like working out as far as like confidence goes like with my body I feel like that's going to do most of the work. I feel like I'm a beautiful person already. And I like who I am on the inside. But I think once I really just get the body that I'm working towards, it's going to even help a lot more. And then cooking at home and stuff like that. I feel like that's just like a piece. Overall health, healthy workout, you know, all that stuff like that. I think that's just like 50% of the work. Yeah, I get what I'm trying to do though. But yeah, so I'm just tracking how much I, how, how far along I feel that I am. I feel with my health journey and working out i'm like a little under halfway there i'm at the phase where i'm still not seeing any results but i have the mentality now to keep going to the gym so i'll say like 33 percent of the way i feel like i've done really the hunk of it like the hard part um as for cooking at home and stuff maybe yeah eating out definitely one so i'm gonna just say like 20 percent um and then it was like budgeting um i feel like my budget is great so i'm gonna do like 30 to 40 percent I feel like once I get the grips on the ropes of everything, I'll be a-okay and good. So, as far as Q1 goes, I would say I did not do good. Okay, I did better. I did good. I'm trying to let go of the thought of that I am not doing enough. There's room for improvement within Q2. I do feel like I could, you know, work harder. Um work more efficiently should i say like even now setting up and recording this video it took me forever to just get set up and record it shouldn't have taken this long but i'm doing it so that's a good thing and that's improvement but by all means if you guys want to like check out the ebook i have it in my bio um click link in my bio 